I went to school originally for interior design and I just wasn't feeling it the way that I thought. I didn't enjoy it so much. I found out that it was more sales than design work. And I got my degree in education and I absolutely love it. I love teaching art. I love the engagement with the kids. I think it's great. But in the, at the same token, I wasn't doing art. I was teaching it, but I wasn't doing it. Think of you. My husband is a Canadian native, and he ended up moving to the States when he was uh, seven years old, and we met in high school. And we ended up getting married, and he and I at the time were at, you know, in a kind of a, a funky limbo where we were trying to figure out our career paths, and we knew we were trying to move on to the next, the next step in our lives. It was a little bit intimidating at first, but I told him that I would be happy moving to Toronto, but I am a city girl. I love the city. I said we can move to Toronto, but I want to live in the city. And since moving to Toronto, my art career has really taken off. Uh, once I started tapping into the live art, it was really neat because people started seeing what I was doing and people were telling me, well, you need to start filming this. So my husband and I together, we're, we collaborate together, we come up with new ideas, new creative ideas. I, I execute them and he films them. So anyway, he, he and I have come up with different ideas since then and we videotape them as a way to just let people see the process that goes into it. And it's something unique, it's something different, and I think it's something that sets me apart from other artists as well, so. Originally, I wanted to just put in, you know, whatever, a song that I like or a song, any song from the radio that anybody might hear. But then you kind of fall into all kinds of copyright issues and everything, and we wanted to do things the right way. On the plus side, after moving to Toronto, I ended up meeting some fabulous friends, and they happened to be in bands. Um, the first set of friends that I made, they are in a band called the Canadian Shield, and they were more than happy to let us use their music. And through them, I've met um, the Petty Victories, Shabamzi, Wildlife, all of the, all of the uh, videos I do incorporates the music from the friends that I've made. So it's kind of a really great effect of, you know, they're artists as well, I'm helping them out, they're helping me out, and uh, together we're able to make a pretty cool composition, I think. If I want to be, if I ever want to be a household name in the art scene, or if I ever want to be able to reach out to others, we're living in a world where you got to take advantage of social media, you need to take advantage of being able to just post things on YouTube, because this is something that artists years ago have never been able to do. So I think it's really wise for any artist that wants to get their names out there to whether it's just docking a camera right above you and having a speed painting of what you're doing. Seeing the process in action will make the viewer appreciate you as an artist and appreciate your work. If you can gain a new follower or if you can gain a new uh, person interest in your work every day, that's huge. That's one more person that didn't know about you the day before. Not only will people recognize you, but they'll help spread the word about you. And I just really think it's important for all artists out there to just continue doing what you do. Practice your craft every day. It's so important to hone in on that creative talent that you have. Practice it every day. Believe in yourself and having confidence in your work and putting your work out there for people to see as much as possible. But I know we're I decided to try to do different techniques because I thought that that would be a way of making the visual arts something that's more mainstream. So I'm looking to, instead of just painting with a paintbrush, you know, where somebody might just walk by and not even notice, by painting in a non-traditional way, whether it's using a different part of my body like my feet or, you know, using my mouth where I kiss the canvas in some of the videos. That is something that's different and it's unique and it draws people in and the whole idea is to capture the attention of not just art lovers but non-art lovers as well and to try to make it 
something just original and unique. So that's why I choose to do those different mediums. And I want to mix it up, you know, and try to tap into different types of applications. So what's more different than instead of using your hands, use your feet. And um, it's obviously not as easy as painting with your hands, but sometimes you need to kind of break your comfort level in order to see the benefits and see the positive reactions from the people that you hope to see. I first saw Alexis's art through my son who lives in Toronto and I saw her YouTube presentations and thought what a wonderful thing to bring to Confederation College. She's unique. She uses uh, she drums and does art. She uses her lips and does art. And she proposed to do art with her feet. So I thought, what a way to do our Live in the World presentation with a great artist. So what I came up with is I did a very androgynous looking face. It could be either male, it could be female, doesn't matter. And if you would notice, if you look at the painting, you'll see on the left side, it's the left side of the face, it's all black and white. That's supposed to represent the straight world being straight. Um, and then on the other side, it is the colorful world of somebody who is gay. Um, and that basically just represents that their world isn't so black and white, it isn't so simple, it isn't so laid out. Um, but they are the way that they are and that's what makes them beautiful people, that's what makes them unique. And by meshing the two images together, it basically is just res resembling coexistence and being able to coexist in each other's world because this is the way it is and it's the way it's always going to be. And if, if straight individuals expect for um, homosexuals to be able to coexist in their world, it should go the other way around too. It's a two-way street. So it's just about coexistence is what the piece comes down to. Used her feet. So that's just incredible that you can use other body parts to create something so beautiful. Caught my attention, anyways. And go from black, and then all of a sudden you see the eyes and you see the mouth, and then wondering what she's going to do with the color, and then to see the other side of the color was such a great piece. The fact that she did that solely with her feet and her hands, I think it's very impressive. He's a very...